Major rail service between San Diego and Orange counties has once again been suspended after a landslide. It happened yesterday, sending boulders and debris onto the tracks near San Clemente. Our Jason Sloss is in Del Mar for us with the new federal funding that was just approved to address issues just like this. Once again, train service between San Diego and Orange County is suspended because of another landslide in San Clemente. The coastal slide dumped rocks and debris on the tracks Wednesday. Amtrak Pacific Surfliner and Metrolink Orange County stopped service between the Oceanside and Laguna Niguel Mission Viejo stations. Frustrated passengers at the Oceanside Transit Center hurried to catch shuttle buses to get to their destinations Thursday morning. The rail closure comes as local Congressman Mike Levin and other officials announced new funding to tackle coastal erosion issues which continue to affect the low sand rail corridor from San Diego to Los Angeles and further north. This is the second busiest rail corridor in the entire country. Through a federal grant program, the North County Transit District is getting nearly $54 million to replace the San Diego River Railway Bridge in Del Mar. The bridge has been a longtime concern, considered an at-risk spot along the 351 mile low sand corridor. Every time I ride on the corridor, I know that uh, the conditions are precarious and uh, we particularly see in some parts of the corridor, whether it's down in Del Mar or up in San Clemente, uh, you really are only as strong as your weakest link and so we have to make sure that we uh, strengthen the entire corridor from the southernmost point all the way up to the nor northernmost point. Officials say the project will replace the 108 year old wooden trestle bridge going from a single track to a double track and raising the height of the tracks by eight feet to account for increased sea level changes and flooding risks. It'll also include new passenger rail station platforms at the Del Mar Fairgrounds and overall help prevent travel disruptions. Replacing this antiquated bridge with a modern elevated concrete bridge will not only alleviate those risks, it's also necessary for the planned effect efforts to realign the Los Sand Rail Corridor off of the fragile Del Mar Bluffs. After a news conference in Oceanside, lawmakers had planned another rail stop in L.A., but had to cancel because of the landslide. There are also 30 passenger trains that are not able to make that trip that go between L.A. and San Diego. 30 passenger trains just in one day. So when you think about the hundreds, the thousands of commuters who were disrupted from this one slide, you realize how important it is that we invest in the resiliency of this corridor. If the train is not reliable, people People will not take it. And it's unclear when service will resume up north. Meanwhile, we're told this bridge project will cost around $160 million with funding coming from other sources, including $100 million from the state. And we're told the project will get underway sometime in 2027. In Del Mar, Jason Sloss, Fox 5 News.